Hey guys, welcome back. This week we're in Boston. So we are in the Boston Commons Park area and stopped at this really old cemetery called the Central Burying Ground. And we're gonna go look around and see if we can find some really old graves. So now we are at the Granary Burial Ground. This is the grave of Benjamin Franklin's parents. So many of these graves have skeletons at the top of the headstone. I'm gonna have to look that up, see why it's like that. This is Paul Revere's grave.
so many cemeteries. It's the Old North Church, guys. Time to take the train home. walking tour that they do here to show you all the historic sites. So I'm going to come back and walk it. All right, guys, I made it down to the Boston Commons after about a mile walk from the train station. And I'm going to be following that red line around town. That's the Freedom Trail. And it's going to be paved that way throughout the entirety of Boston. All right, so first stop is the Boston Commons, which is a giant park down here in the middle of Boston. And it, it's always been public land, uh, formally made a park uh, after the Revolutionary War. But I was also reading that this is where they used to do all their public executions and hangings uh, back in the day. So like a bunch of people actually died where people are just like, picnicking. <laughs> the second stop was the Massachusetts State House and this third stop is the Park Place Church. So the fourth stop on the walking tour is actually the Granary Graveyard where uh, we stumbled across the other day and I was reading in my little guidebook um, that it was actually established back in the 1660s and there's approximately 5,000 people buried here, um, oftentimes three and four deep uh, because space was so limited. So I thought that was interesting. And then I also, uh, you remember all of the skull and crossbones or like skull and wings that I saw on the tombstones the other day. I went home and Googled that 
and um, apparently it was supposed to depict a couple of things. Uh, one, it was supposed to remind everyone that we're all mortal and we're all equals in death. Uh, but then also the ones with the wings, uh, that's them like imagining their soul flying to heaven. So found the answer. So this is the King's Chapel burial ground, stop number five. This is Boston's Old City Hall and is right next to the site of America's first public school, the Boston Latin School. So this placard you see marks that location. This is the Old South Meeting House. So the previous clip just showed you guys the Old South Meeting House. Uh, this is where uh, everybody met to decide that they were going to do the Boston Tea Party and ultimately uh, the ad hoc uh, birthplace of the American Revolution. This is the old Massachusetts State House. So this is the site of the Boston Massacre, which is right behind the rear of the old State House. So in front of me here is Faneuil Hall. It was built to be a commerce center in old days Boston uh, and still to this day they have businesses on the first floor. The second floor was used as a meeting hall and um, this was also a location a precursor to the Revolutionary War. They had a meeting here where they decided that they were going to protest the Stamp Act which then led to the Boston Tea Party and ultimately the Revolution. So another interesting site. Y'all know I had to stop for some Korean food. So this is Paul Revere's house. So I'm in the middle of my walking tour and it's such a small world. I just bumped into an old co-worker who is also here on vacation. Uh, it's wild. So, hey Chris, you're uh, mentioned on YouTube now. Well, the next stop on the tour was supposed to be Cops Hill Burying Ground, but it's closed. It was closed when we walked by here the other day too, so not really sure what's going on there, but keep on going. I also want to give a shout out to our friends Steve and Bonnie, who are also camping full time and happen to be in Boston this week as well. So it was really good to reconnect with them. Well, unfortunately, I think I'm gonna to have to call it a day. I didn't quite get to finish the Freedom Trail, but I'm losing daylight. So uh, what you just saw was the USS Constitution. That last stop made number 15 on the Freedom Trail. So I got a, a good chunk of it done, but it was time to head home and get rested up for more adventures. As always guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. See you next week.